I'm Tracy. I'm Mom. I'm Sam. How old are I'm, you, Sam? I'm 10. Oh. I'm Joe, and I'm 13. And I'm Mike. I'm the dad. I'm Sarah, and I'm 17. Well, it's a 2006 uh, Sprinter van. It's the long wheelbase, and uh, we bought it as a mechanic special. So we did some engine work and stuff like that to get it up and rolling. And uh, we built it out to accommodate the five of us, which hasn't been done very often, so we had some challenges. But uh, overall, it has worked out amazing, and uh, the kids have really enjoyed traveling and seeing different things in a different way, because we've done it with a trailer, but now that we've done it with a van, it's a totally different experience, and we're very happy to have done it. Are you going to follow me in? Yeah, I'm going to follow you in. Okay. Um, okay, so... Quick tour on the van. Um, biggest, I guess, struggle was to figure out how to put five of us in here. Um, so one of the big things that we came up with is kind of a bunk bed system for the boys. This platform folds out, allowing Josiah to have a, a bed down below. And then we got this bed here that will kind of pull up into the ceiling, lock in on the walls, pull up on some straps in the front. And that's basically Samuel's bed. So that's how we hold the two boys in there. Um, coming inside, basically have the big Dometic cooler, which is a big guy, but we figured with five mouths to feed, we needed to have some volume to store all the food. So that is basically housed in our kitchen area. Um, we have a cooktop under here, top comes off, propane stove. Propane bottles hiding underneath here as, as well as our uh, water tank for our hand pump. Sink drains into another tank. Keep it really simple. It's one thing we learned from having the trailer that I guess we didn't need all the fancy stuff. So we came up with very simple ways to do it. Uh, we got a fold up table here that'll fold up allowing the five of us to sit on this nice little L-shaped couch. Uh, this is where the kids travel. There are seat belts in there. That was a big concern for a lot of people that we weren't going to keep our kids safe. So seat belts in there. Storage throughout the bottom. This will slide out, allowing Sarah to have an almost twin, twin kind of bed system. Uh, she's been sleeping really good on this. Um, fabbed up this aluminum shelf. Runs the full length of the van, allowing each of us to have Two bins each for our clothes. Uh, you know, if you can't fit it in the bin, it didn't wasn't allowed on the van. Um, on this side, I guess we have kind of our dailies, coffee or sugars, some different things we made for granolas, um, spices, collect all little bins here and there. Um, and that was a nice little score when we found these pretty much a week before we left. We weren't sure what we were going to do, so that worked out great. Um, I guess in the back we have a full-size RV queen bed for both me and Tracy. Uh, it also doubles as kind of our lounge area when the moon is movie night or when the kids need to stretch out. Um, it's Tracy's favorite place to basically slide some pillows up, kick the doors open in the morning. I make her a cup of coffee and she takes in the view wherever we happen to be calling home that day. And storage all through the bottom. Um, Huge amount of storage there. That was one of the other tougher things is I guess with five people, almost got to be five of everything, which was difficult. But we managed to get it all in here and then some. So, and the roof rack is an obvious, you know, with that, if you want to take a shot of that outside.